What's up everyone, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 if you're new to the channel. You might want to please uh, consider subscribing to some cool stuff just like this. Now this is Sen Racing's brand spanking new Ford F250 and it's a lifted version. The Ford F450 is a stock version with, you know, standard ride height, but you would have saw in the previous video, if you haven't, check out that little card up there. You can buy the lift kit for that as well. So I installed that one on the previous video. In that video as well, I unboxed the bumper delete kit, which basically, sorry, not delete, but it, it deletes it off there, cutting the Lexan so you can make room for the really nicely detailed, as you can see there, plastic bumper compared to the original, like that, as you can see, or like that one on the gray version there. So that's, that's good. So that's the standard lift. And there is a jacked up one. Yeah, the previous video, I am, Box and show you what you got in the kit and the RGB light kit. So in this video, I'm going to be installing the bumpers and also the RGB light kit, just because the, if I put it all in one video, it'll just be a little bit too long. So that's why I split it up into two parts. But this one's pretty self-explanatory as well. But let's get the bumpers all sorted first. First step is you put all these accessories on. Here we go. Last step, cutting it and all that kind of stuff. So with this, because it actually needs to be extended because as you can see there, the bumper's not attached anymore. With the bumper kit, you obviously need an extension on the frame to hold that bumper. So for example, if I get the original one here and show you what I mean quickly, it's easier when I visually see what I mean. The bumper or the rails kind of just stop at the rear of those tires. Whereas with the bumper kit, the rails extend past there. So to make up that difference, there is these rail kits, like that. And you need to take this old one off, put this new one on. I've got that all sorted, nothing nothing to it. Let's not make the videos too long. And uh, let's see how it looks. One thing to point out, you can actually have the position of the bumper at different heights, but they recommend it here and they tell you in the instructions and for example, that's the mount there. So you can have different mounting holes just like that. Now on the front bumper, you get these cool kind of hooks. And the rear ones, you get these shackles. All secured with the screws. So I just wanted to show you that quickly before we uh, put that on. So you obviously take off the original front mount here and also you get rid of the foam block there as well. So then you get a new rear mount as well, like that. It's got the provision there for the, uh, the hook, tow hook. And also, Pretty sure you could put LEDs because it's got these little clear caps that you pop in, just like that. Well, there we go there. That was easy, but that makes a huge difference to the quality and the uh, scale look of it, doesn't it? So on the right there, on the grey one, the light grey, that's the stock. And here is the new bumper kit. Just spin it around the side here. There we go. Super easy to cut as well. So it's got to cut the Lexan body. Nothing to it. Flip it around the back here. I think it looks really good. Check out that. So, yep, cut around the body. It's up to the light so you can see. That's all there is to it. Big difference, huge, huge difference. Stock. And we look at cutaway. Next up, the last mod we're doing. One more. Check out that. Look at that. That's heaps better. Here's installing the LED lighting system, or the RGB lighting system, actually. And it has these different shock mounts, so it comes with new ones in the actual kit. Now I'm thinking, why do they have new ones? Well, they have these pre-drilled holes up top. So the stock ones don't, these ones do. So they've got that and these little hats that sit on top of them. Just here that house, the RGB light. So I get the one off the floor here. This is the F250, and as you can see, that's how it mounts. Pretty simple stuff. Let's get that sorted. Shouldn't be too difficult, as you can see. Or that, when you look at it, only thing that looks different is those little hats on top of the uh, shock mounts. That's it. So let me get all that sorted, and should be too. Long. One of the first steps is you get this little extension wire, and that plugs in to the existing servos channel three, and then that plugs in the light uh, system that's in the kit. Now I unboxed all these in the first video, so if you want to check out that one up there, that's where I actually installed the lift kit. But I just wanted to show you that because. People might want to know where it gets plugged in, so it's on in the instructions, really easy. You've got these nice little clips that 
attach it to the chassis so you can run all the wires nice and neatly. And you attach that little board. It says here on the servo there was some double-sided tape, which is all included. All right, quickly show you. I put all three on. I left last one to show you how it looks. So here's your original shock tower. And the new ones have a hole here for the wire to come through and two holes to screw on this little hat which holds the RGB component. So this little board this is how it looks. That's all you do. It's got these little tabs in there. You just slide in this board like that. Slide it in until it kind of clicks in and that's it. And then you get your wire, feed it through here, plug it in. Now let's turn the transmitter on. Turn it on. So on the transmitter you click the channel 3 button. Simple, you install the shock tower back how it originally goes, just on there, put the shock in, and that's it. Bit of cable management now, it comes with these little brackets. Now they want you to go inside the uh, shads rail, so a little bit too difficult to get in there. That's why I just put them on the outside. Just here, simple as that. I'll put all these up, get the uh, cable management nice and done, and that should be it. And there we go, guys. Doesn't she look beautiful now? Definitely a big difference uh, for scale look with these plastic bumpers. And I like how that light shines through. See with the uh, the RGBs coming through the wheel, it kind of shines through there as well. So not just sure if that's intentional, but it damn looks good. Bring around the back. There we go. Really, really nice. And quick to go through this again. I'll turn off the light. I know it's a little bit grainy. So it's off. That's cool, that's a nice color. Blue always looks good. But that purple looks smashing in my opinion. But there we go, at least you have a few different colors. They all look really nice. But that purple and the and the gray, I know it looks really good. Links are down below if you want to go check it out. Like the video, share it, and if you have this installed, let me know what you guys think. But in my opinion, great upgrade, and it's very easy to do anything. Anyone with hands-on, you know, in the hobby, and that's what makes it fun, in my opinion, can do this, no problem whatsoever. So appreciate it, guys. Like, hope you like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.